Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven with the Heights of Power mod. And uh, for everyone who thinks I've died in this game already, even though it's episode 5 now, I have not. Uh, I've just been quite busy with uh, New Year's and just resting in general, so yeah. Anyways, this is going to be a fairly boring episode for most people, uh, seeing as what I'm going to do for around two hours or so is talk to everyone in the city. This is for getting quests, in particular also XP and items, so yeah. Let's begin by just making sure Lothar doesn't annoy us any further. Halt, stranger. I didn't see you come through this gate. And? And the guards on the other gate have orders not to let any unknown persons into the city. Well... I shall have to have a word with those two. But now for us two. I am Lothar. Paladin of the King and humble servant of Innos. Your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. That's not what my husband thinks. I've got to go. Wait! You don't know the new laws of the city yet. Later. Alright, so, now that we don't have to talk to Lotha again, I'm just gonna check the audio options, uh, never mind, I was, it seems that the, uh, voice quality is a bit quiet, so, wait, what, what the hell's reverb, oh, I just do full, see what that does, game settings, nothing there, visual, obviously nothing, okay, that's, that should work, but, We'll see. Anyways, next person we're going to talk to is Rupert, who is a uh, shopkeep. Hey. Where did you pick that up then? Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. I was actually on my way to see the paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the paladins made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Me? Nah. I don't have much say here myself. There are a few people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. Mateo, my boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside his shop. Just go on in. He's practically always there. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice like me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. His shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. Tell me more about the peasants' revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine, we're at war with the orcs, and that fat slob wants everything for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm measures in such cases, but now comes the best part. They say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city off his back. Mercenaries! The whole thing will end in a damn war, as if one war weren't enough. Alrighty then. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I heard that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony, and their leader is supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something whom they put away as a traitor. These are terrible times. Show me your wares. Now as you can see, it doesn't have much to offer, except apples, which uh, will be kind of useful later in the game, because they give you a permanent bo bonus. But for now, I'm going to save up my money for other particular objects. 
So, let's see. I'll probably go to... Mm, I'll talk to Mateo first. Now, this is one of the first quests uh, in the city. And it's the first quest I'm going to do involving getting into the upper quarter. What can I do for you? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather. Still unused. Interested? Now, before you buy this leather, which you shouldn't, a interesting thing you should know about this area is this storeroom back here. Now, over here you can find around, I'm assuming, 500, uh, well, items worth around 500 gold and a free piece of leather armor. The only problem is, is getting past this guard. Oh, what? Halt! No one may enter the storeroom! As you can see. But let's go back to Mateo and I'll show you. There's an easy way of actually getting into there. But that's a glitch, and I don't want to use glitches in this LP. So, let's uh, talk to Mateo. What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards had come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladin seized your goods? Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So, can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. That's a whole damn lot. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But... In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Okay, I'll talk to him later about that. Now let's talk to Regis. Yes, that's a funny name. Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. Listen to the wrong people. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. 
I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst ways. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Alright, let's go to Bosper now. And here we'll receive our second quest, if I'm not mistaken. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Uh, what brings you to Corinus? I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner. And he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorpin, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay it. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice. And I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or... Hmm, you can start with one of the other masters, if that's what you really want. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave, with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. Alright, let's head out onto here and talk to Torben for our third quest. <clears throat> hey, you! 